In this Blender tutorial, we'll go over how to create a basic desk setup with chair, table, and some computer items. If you never used Blender before, or just basically getting started, this tutorial is perfect for you to follow along. We go step by step and this is perfect for beginners to develop their modeling skills from the ground up. Short keys for this tutorial will be here right down below, and I would recommend you to memorize these as clicking around will take a lot more time, but I will do this for the sake of this tutorial. I'll also show you how you can use this cube, so you don't always have to add shift A and add new meshes, you can do a lot with this cube. Start with creating our table. Have our cube selected, go and numpad 1 into a front view, and then go scale, so S and then Z, to make the table a little bit smaller, and then GZ to put the table right there. Then let's pan around and let's just make this more smaller. So scale, but this time in the Y axis. So this will be the approximately size of our table. Then with the table selected, go from object mode to edit mode, or you can also use tab to switch in between these modes. Hit seven on your numpad, and then you can go edit this shape. So have this selected. Then Ctrl R to create loop cuts. And if you move around, you see this line. So click and then make a loop cut right here. Ctrl R. Let's also click and confirm this one here. And add two more lines, but this time horizontal. One here. Ctrl R, one more right there. Then we're going to flip this to the other side. So we are now in number seven, but with Ctrl 7, reverse this view. Then with three on your keyboard or just go into face select. I like to select this one with shift. Now go back into front view mode to number one and hit E to extrude this down to the ground. Okay, great. You have a table right now. And with this table, we can create a lot more items for our desk setup. Let's create our monitor, for example. So select this one. By the way, you're still in face select mode. Then shift T, we can move around, but then right click to snap this back here, S to scale this one down a bit, S Y to scale a bit on the Y axis, then G Y. By the way, if you like uh, these gizmos better, you can also use these arrows for example, but I'm going to do it like this mostly of the time. Okay, now let's fix our monitor. So E to extrude, and you can see it already aligns to the Z axis, the blue one here. So if you hit C once more, you're more free, but Z once again snaps to this one. Okay, great. E to extrude, S to scale, something like this. E to extrude, once more, E to extrude, but S to scale. And let's make a big monitor just like this. Okay, okay. Then E to extrude, Let's get a monitor of some size like this, should be fine. Then have this face selected and it's I to inset. And let's go like this, for example. And now you see these lines are a bit far from the center. So uh, from the side to the center. So if this happens, go into your edge select mode, then grab this one, G, X, move it here. Also here, G, X, move this one here. And now I can select this face right here and then put it a bit inside with E to extrude, but don't go too far because you will go here on the other side. Just a little bit so we can get more of a view. Okay, now we have a table with a monitor set up. Okay, let's create a keyboard right here. Once more, Shift T to duplicate, right click to snap back, S to scale, and then S X to scale on the X axis, something like this too. G to grab, and then Z to go up and down, so a little bit above the table. And then you can also once more use these gizmos if you think that's uh, more convenient for you. Then E to extrude, so we have a bit of depth right here. Okay, great. Let's also create a computer right here. So Shift D, right click, S to scale, and let's place this one more like here. S, Y, S, X. So this is the size that we'll do. And then let's align this computer right here on this part of the table. Okay, great. I go back into this and then E to X to it right up. This should be a decent size. Okay, maybe a bit more so G and then Z to move it up a bit. However you want. 
Okay, so this is a very basic desk setup. Let's also create a table. And I'm going to show you how to uh, link objects and duplicate them that way. So we have your table selected. Hit L on your keyboard and it aligns, it highlights all the linked uh, vertices and faces. And now with three from the side view, Shift D and I have your table. Then hit Y on the Y axis and then click. Let's scale this one down. So we have a smaller chair than the table. GY, GZ, and GX. Now you can see that, so go back here in the front view. GX, SX, I mean, scale in the X axis. Chair like this should be fine. Look at it from different sides, different angles. Okay, fine. And now back here in face select mode. Go to here, numpad 3, side view, E to extrude. And now we have a basic uh, setup of a desk. Okay, now let's color this one in. And for coloring in, I like to go here in the viewport shading with this one. And for this, we are going to create three materials. So click here on the material properties. One, two, three, four. And click new for each material. And I'm going to use, and you see this is uh, all used for the first material. Let's choose a more of a brown one for the table, for example. For the second material, let's choose a different kind of brown. And the computer, we will color in more black. So just drag this one down. And the screen itself will be a little bit more bluish, more of a darkish blue. Okay, then click here the desk, L click and assign this material. Chair, L click to have the linked faces selected here. And then we are going to assign this material. Click next to it. And you can see these ones have different colors. And then left, left click and L. And let's make this one black. Same for the keyboard. Also the monitor, L click and assign. But I don't want the entire monitor for the same color. Oh, I misclicked, so L click and uh, assign the black one. I want the screen here to be more bluish, so assign, and this looks better. By the way, if you're not happy with a certain color, you can, uh, I like to click next to this one. For example, the material of the chair. You can also go back and change the colors right there and then see what happens over here. So make sure when you, for example, hit something and hit L click to select this one, now it works. But when I go here, and with my mouse here, now hit L click, nothing happens. I need to be in this exact screen for this to happen. So this is a basic test setup with a table, chair, monitor, keyboard, and a computer. So if you want me to make more basic exercises like this for you to learn inside of Blender, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will create more beginner-friendly tutorials just like this inside of Blender.